Hello everybody and welcome to Pecan Tia. Yes, today we are taking a look at another game from Skipmore and Kankakuchi, who, if you remember, we took a look at one of their games a while back called Kamiko, which was a very good roguelike uh, action game, which was very fun, had a very cute art style, and this game seems to follow suit, which is wonderful. Uh, this is a sort of top-down adventure from what I can see, a bit more of an RPG, just exploring a world, collecting resources and all of that good stuff. But before we get into it, let's look into the options. There we go. Quite frankly, not too bad. You've got like options for different audio sliders. That's always nice. You've got a choice of analog inputs, which is quite nice. You either get the 16 directions or full 360. I'm going to go for full 360. And of course, you do have a little manual, which gives you basic controls for like, you know, the game, which is lovely. Uh, no way to change your controls though, which is slightly awkward because if you look in your basic controls, B is used to confirm and A is used to cancel. Which is the layout of effectively a PlayStation controller, which has X on the bottom and circle on the side, which mean yes and no, respectively, or vice versa. Uh, so, I don't know. I do wish that we could change that, but it's fine. And there we go. Lovely. Let's start a new game. And, uh, yeah, just, just get into it. Have a bit of an explore. Right. We are called Pico. And look at that very, very nice pixel art. It's, it's quite frankly, adorable. Right, in fact, we shall not be Pico. We shall be Pico Jam. There we go. Lovely. So there we are. And starting off, it is actually very... It reminds me quite a lot of Earthbound in its colour palette and its designs. Like, it's basic. Uh, the sprite work less so. But the environments do seem quite Earthbound-like. And there's a shiny cube. Wonderful. I knew it! The soil of this island is filled with piconium. Of course it is. Come on, come, Pico Jam. <laughs> See for yourself. Right, where am I? There I am. Hello. Lovely. Look at the little hoodie. I actually, you know what? It reminds me quite a bit of Earthbound with its art style at least. Yes. I may be able to complete my project here. Wonderful. What have we got to do with it? Two years late. Wow, that was a, that was a very quick time skip. Look at what he's done. Ah, oh, he's got a whole lab and everything. How wonderful. Phew, I think I'll manage it. Lovely. Ian, can you multiply this and then pass through the cor coracles? What the hell is a coracles? Understood. There we go. You got an AI Ian. Wonderful. Uh, Pico Jam, I need you to go home and hide in the basement with. Ayla, what the hell is going on? This is very interesting. Here, take this with you. It's to keep you safe. Uh, I got a sun pendant. Lovely. I'll speak with Lucor before I head home. Go on without me. He is dead. He is absolutely dead. Oh, dear. What a shame. And well, there we are. Are we in a back to tank or something? What's with all the blue and the bubbles? Oh, we are. We are. We are in a back to tank. Fair enough. Or one of those uh, sane pods from DBZ. Got a similar look. I will say, I do like the editing of cutscenes and stuff. It is visually much more interesting than I thought it would be. Right, here we are. Look at that. There's our back to tank. There's a thing. There's another thing. There's a book. Lovely. Can we just go upstairs then? Oh my god, it's very cute. Oh, it's Ayla. Hello. Oh, good morning, Pika Jam. That's exactly 262,800 hours since we last spoke. That's a long time. No wonder the time skips are so long. I think you've broken the record for your longest sleep since you came to the island. Uh, what? We have very good weather today. Why not step outside? Okay. Well, here we are. Look at this. There's a cat on that bin. I want to go and see what it is. Look, that house and farm is pretty good condition. Isn't it just... God, this game... It, it, the pixel art is very nicely done. It looks lovely. It looks very nice. But I, I, if I remember rightly, when I looked at Kamiko, that also had a very nice uh, pixel art style as well. That's something that uh, Skipmore and Kang, uh, Kikuchi... 
apparently just they're very good at. The farm might need some help, but... Oh, Professor Jeddah left a message for you. Let's see. Go have a look around the town for me. I think that's what he said. Off you go. I got a town map. Fantastic. There we are. Exploring the town is the main quest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've already seen that. Right. There's a cat. It's cat trash. Want to see what's inside? Yes. Oh, is that just storage then? Uh, looks like anything disposed gets moved here. Also, if it gets too full, the older things disappear, so keep that in mind. So it is storage, but it's storage that you can lose. That's interesting. Okay. Lovely. I, I love cat trash. That is amazing. And there's a duck. Uh, there's a water pump. Lovely. Signboard. What does it say? Using two watering cans at the same time will help you water your crops more efficiently. Lovely. And then we've got fishing. Can we fish? Uh, no, it's just a fishing spot. Okay. Another one here. A good pickaxe might be able to help you break rocks with cracks in them. Lovely. So I do get the idea. We are literally just going to look around. We're going to find some tools. And then we're going to start building up our farm. Even if your crops have wilted, watering them again will bring them right back to life the next day. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Uh, break rocks using a pickaxe. Yes. Where is it? I will say, again, it's very cute. It is very cute. Place anything you want to sell in the box. The delivery drone will pick it up at 8 a.m. There we go. Look at that. We got a bag with 32 items. Shipment box with 16. Kind of seems like it would be in reverse normally. They do give you quite a lot of uh, storage. Also, look at the little p pixel butterflies. Oh, it's just precious. Right, what do we got in the silo? Nothing. Uh, what do we got in here? Okay, we got a water bucket. We got water. Probably going to get some livestock. Fair enough. Okay. But I do Oh, wow. That's actually quite nice. Look at the light rays in the corner. I hadn't even noticed that. Oh, that's not the right way. Oh, my apologies. Oh, no. Glitchy butterflies. Glitchy butterflies, the worst kind of butterfly. But yeah, it, that simple light filter looks very nice. I, I like it. I really do. Visually, this game is just delightful. Right, where's the village then? Let's have a look. Oh, wait, we've got a sign here. Okay, free space. Hope you make good use of it. And same there. And free space. How about using this area for entertainment? Isn't that going to be good? Right, here we go. What do we got here? Uh, this way to the town of Magmail. Lovely. And we've picked up a stick. I feel stronger already. Uh, equip a tree branch. Ah, okay. Wait a minute. How do I equip, though? How do I equip? There we go. Uh, yes, there we go. Okay. I keep I keep forgetting it's A to cancel. That's so awkward. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we've got common weeds. Uh, no idea what I'm going to do with those. But it is nice how, uh, how large an area you can hit with them. And I got some basil. Isn't that amazing? Right, there we go. Um, in all seriousness, though, this is very nice. Right, hit it. There we go. We got apples. Oh, yes. Look at us. We're doing it now. And we're probably going to have some crafting in a moment. So, let's go up. Explore this new area. So here we go. We've got the town of Magmail. Uh, Melissa's general store open 10 to 6, but stop by any time. Lovely. Okay. What's this one? Uh, free for everyone. Lovely. I'm out of sticks. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. Oh, no. I'm sorry, kitty. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Okay. You know what? I I've done enough now. I caused trouble. Uh, okay. Okay, let's see. We can't ride the swing. Can we hit a? Ch can we hit the duck? The tree branch broke. No, I had a few. Oh no! Wait, am I actually out of tree branches? No, I'm not. Okay. Oh no! Okay, I am out of tree branches. Ah! Oh god, the duck's gonna kill me. Okay. Delivery drone heliport. Say hi to the drone. Hello, drone. Okay. Uh, I collect and deliver items that have been put in the delivery box and also pay you for them. Please play. Yeah, okay, we got that. Oh god, I am actually gonna. Ah! Into the coffee shop. Right. Lovely. Look at this. Very nice. 
Again, the interiors look very good. Okay, maybe we can avoid the duck. Okay, we'll pick up a log. Uh, we don't have any more sticks, which is a bit of a problem. We'll pick up that. Okay. Also, the music is pretty good. It's not, like, amazing, but it's, you know, it's pleasant. It really is pleasant. There we go to Grill Brothers Restaurant, 10 till 6. Okay, let's pick up another log. Right, what's this one? Uh, blacksmith shop. Okay, we can probably get a pickaxe here. Right. Okay. Um, I don't see anyone. This place is empty. Can we steal a sword? No, we cannot. How, how big a shame. Oh, look at that one. Hello. Hello, little duck. Uh, right. I feel like we've explored pretty thoroughly. I mean, could probably talk to the people, but whatever. Hello. Oh, a cutscene's happening. I just reopened my shop after renovations yesterday, and it's already dusty this morning. The fire in my forge went out, and my workshop's covered in soot. All of the ingredients for our restaurant can't be used. We'll just have to restock the fresh meat. Oh, bugger. That is a shame. That is a shame. Right. What do we got here? We got Hugo. Hello, Hugo. Whatever happened here? There's a huge hole in my roof. Oh my god, it's just the... Okay, that's the bank, lovely. Someone's broken into the bank. How infuriating, my prize collection is covered in dust. It looks like we've had an emergency. What do you think, Zach? Who's Zach? Oh, that guy's Zach. Hello, Zach. This must be God's doing. Fair enough. Well, it isn't a disaster. I wonder what this is all about. What does it have to do with Professor G Jada? Probably a lot. Oh, hi, Pika Jam. Ah, oh, what's your place, all right? I presume so. I've been asleep for, like, a year, apparently. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Can we go, can we go this way? What do we got this way? Oh, here's the RPG element. Okay. A strange force pushes you back. You can't go any further. Okay. But that is good. So there is going to be much more sort of regular exploration as we go forward. Okay. Well, there we go. He seems to be walking a bit slower now. I'm not sure quite why. Keep in mind, this game is in early uh, early development, early access. So there will be a few things that may be a bit awkward here and there. Right. Okay. Round right, the tombstone. And what is that one? Does it look like him? Nah, not quite. Okay. Do we, do we just have to talk to all the townspeople? Oh, there's a notice board as well. Achievements. That's it. Okay. Clear quest one, and there are quite a few of these. Okay. Looks like there's a ton of content. Okay, this way to Hugo's laboratory. Right, let's go to his laboratory. There we go. Hugo! Ba -ba. He's not here. Bugger. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, you see, now he's, now he's moving a bit faster. Not quite sure why that is. That seems to be a weird little glitch. Okay. My freshly baked bread went dry for so fast. Well, your room is so dusty. Not that it's anything new. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Simple people's problems. And there we go. Now there's a thing on the loudspeaker. Ah, ah, testing. One, two, three. Can you hear me? Pico Jam, Pico Jam, can you hear me? Uh, Ayla? Apparently. Oh, I can't hear even if you respond. So you don't have to answer. How lovely. Please come home after you've satisfied your curiosity. That's it over and out. Right, well, there we go. Quest one. Exploring the town. Done. Okay. Possibly the easiest first quest I've ever seen in a game. Um. Oh. Okay, I thought I'd taken us back to the title screen. That is a very nice color palette. I love the orange and reds. Mainly oranges. Looks very nice. There we go. Look at that, though. It is very, very good. There we go. Welcome back, Pico Jam. Did you hear me over the PA system? It was kind of difficult not to. Uh, let's go inside. We don't have to talk out here. Fair enough. Welcome back, Pico Jam. Oh, I've already said that. How are the people in town? It was a little noisy. Yeah, I see. I was in a report to Professor Jada at his lab. Are you hungry? Uh, I could eat. Yeah, go on then. I thought you might be. So here, here you go. A sandwich. Looks good, right? Wait a minute. 
Uh, I can't see it. I used one of my seven secret functions, sandwich maker, to make it. What the hell is Ayla? Um, <laughs> the sandwich is completely edible, I assure you. Well, if you're curious as to how I made it, I harvested some pure peconium from the soil, then I did this, then that. I got a sandwich. It does look like it would probably cut your mouth if you tried to eat it, like most pixel sandwiches do. I should tell you having a healthy diet is important, but also is having quality sleep. Once it gets dark, please make sure to come home to sleep in your bed. So, although it's a little early, let's go to bed ready for tomorrow. Good night, Pico Jam. There we go. Ah, oh, that's a nice little animation. I kind of just expected him to go into bed. But oh well, there we are. This is very, very sweet. Okay. I want to get into some like proper gameplay. That's the one problem with these sorts of games. They start you off with a very slow burn. Kind of reminds me of the Pokemon game starting out. Good morning, Pico Jam. Here, let me give you this before I forget. I got another sandwich. Yay. Uh, since we have space to farm, why not try to grow some vegetables? Now, about seeds. We don't have any at home. There is a tomato shrine. Okay, just north of the farm. I think you'll find a seed there. Well then, let's do it. Let's grow some tomatoes. Also, that is a crafting table. I want to craft. What can I make? Wood panels, stone blocks, grass from weeds. Okay. That sounds pretty good, actually. I, I feel like it's going to be a simple crafting system, but there's going to be a lot to enjoy me. Don't tell me you're going to leave the farm in this state and just go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where's the where's the tomato shrine then? I thought you said north. Wait a minute. Where's the... Okay, there's the main quest. Oh, there are side quests as well. Lovely. Okay, there's the map of the town with people's locations. Oh, and there's a relationship thing. That's going to be very nice. That's going to be very nice. Okay. I like that. I feel like this game is going to have much more depth than I presumed. Um, where the hell is that tomato shrine? did just say north, right? Unless north is south for some reason. Oh, look, it looks like... Oh, there's the Tuato Shrine. Okay, so when they say north, they actually meant south. Right, a signboard. The trees around here can be chopped with an axe. I don't have an axe. Rah! Uh, Pico Jam's farm. Lovely. Well, there is a Tomato Shrine. There we go. Lovely. I've now got tomatoes. How are we meant to plant them then? Okay, wait a minute. Let's... let's... Uh, this is a very healthy seed now that it's planted. There we go. Okay. Here, have a, have a hoe. There we go. We've got a hoe. <laughs> a very, a very weird looking hoe. Uh, you'll need to plant the land first. Yeah, okay. Okay. I, I, I feel as if I know how to do this. Oh, now that is a shame though. That is a bit of a shame. I only have 50 uses of the hoe, then I'll have to craft a new one. Not that that's anything new, but it is a shame anyway. Like, that's been a thing in these sorts of games for years, but it is still a bit of a shame. One moment, let me just hoe that, plant that. Right, now, watering can. Okay, good news is the watering can has unlimited uses. There we go. Well done, now you just have to wait three days for it to grow. Uh, it's not a very good idea to just stand around doing nothing. So, here, yeah, there we go. Here. <laughs> yeah. That's all it takes for plants to grow. You just go, and that's it. Ta-da! Wasn't that amazing? Yes, it was. I just used another one of my seven functions, time controller. You are omnipotent, I swear to God. Yeah, it's really useful having this ability, but it uses so much energy, I can use it once in ten years and use it on one tomato. Right, yeah, let's take the tomato, but let's just... There we go. We got a tomato. I feel so accomplished. Oh, lovely. Oh, there we go. Isn't that wonderful? I would like to point out there's a timer in the top corner which says like seven minutes. Um, I thought I'd been recording for way longer than that. But who knows? Maybe I've just got my timings completely wrong. Right. Ayla, hello. Good morning. We've got sunny weather today. Yes. Uh, can I... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to see about crafting. Uh, stone blocks used for building. Okay. I'm presuming if I want to craft something else, I'll have to go into town. So let's go into town. Oh, pick up some sticks as well. Oh, it's a drone! 
Look at that! Wait a minute, I want to see him land. There we go. And does he take the box? He does. There's nothing in it. Oh, that is wonderful. Wait, so if I wait around here, we'll... Hello. Good morning. Look, you've got a cowlick. Have I now? Yes, I do. Uh, where's the drone? Oh, there we go. It does actually fly over. I don't know why, but that's really that's really cool to me. I, I am pleased by the simplest things. I am a simple man. Uh, right. Okay. So what else can we do? What, what other quests have we got? Um, it's, what is it? It's not up. It's that one. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's, that's the main quest done for now. Let's just have a look around. Good morning. We'll be opening shortly. Lovely. Hello. Uh, crafting is fun and all, but come visit my shop now and then. Ah, that's a point. You've got a shop. We haven't been in there, really. Let's have a look. Okay. So here's a regular shop. You've got your items there. You've got a trash can there, which we can empty. Um, we've got what appears to be a diary. Okay. We've got, like, a hidden Mickey wearing a mask, which might be something else, but that's what I'm seeing there. Uh, what else have we got? No, that's it. Okay. I think I think the best thing to do now would probably be just to just to nap and wait till I get some money because I can't do anything until then. So, uh, yep, take a nap. Okay, and we'll do this uh, next time. I think I nap. It should be a full-on sleep. Yeah, it's about eight o'clock. So, uh, still a little early, but I guess going to bed is better than. There we go. Good night. Lovely. So in the morning, I'll get some money and it'll all be good. There we are. It's going relatively well, I think, so far. Okay. There we are. Hello, you. Good morning, Pico Jam here. Let me give this to you. Another sandwich. Uh, it's bothersome having to go to the seed shrines every day, isn't it? That's why. Oh, that's when the seed maker comes in handy. Uh, I only have the plan that tells us how to make it. We got the seed maker plan. We need someone who need, uh, knows how to build machines. Do you know where Hugo lives? Yes. Okay. Uh, we'll go and do that then. Okay. Good. Now, unfortunately, I did just get rid of all of my building materials. Uh, so, before the robot comes, let's just take those back. There we go. And hopefully we do have the resources already to build it. Uh, there we go. Let's get a tree branch, a tree branch. Maybe those those look ripe. Lovely. And I can sell those on... How much are apples worth? Like five gold? Five money? Uh, the apples are worth... Yeah, five. There we go. I'm still going to get 191, which is enough for three tools. Uh, so I'll be able to get the pickaxe to expand the farm. I'll be able to get the axe uh, to cut down some trees to increase the building speed. That'll all be fine right now. Hugo, Hugo, Hugo. Is it this one? No, 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 that's not Hugo. That's someone else. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's have a look on the map. Ah, Hugo's the other side of the fountain. Got it. I got it. I know what I'm doing now. This one? Uh, no, it's the lab at the end. Here we go. This should be Hugo's place. Hugo! Hugo, wake up! No, he's asleep. Lazy bastard. Right. There's nothing I can do so early in the morning. That is disappointing. I mean, what I can do... There was the other apple tree in the village. We can harvest the apples. Um, because they are ripe again. There we go. So we have got some apples. It, it is a game which does feel like it's a very slow burn. Kind of like Ooblets did in a way. That, that again, was a bit of a slow burn to, to get to anything, uh, more exciting. So, you know, it's sort of the nature of these games, which is a shame. But it is very nice at the same time. Like, honestly, it's a pleasure to play. The controls are simple. The gameplay is responsive. I would like to change the uh, the select and cancel button. But I can't. And there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. 
And I can't, I can't just hit those with a stick. Uh, what else? Come on, I want some herbs. Basil. Give me basil. Oh, there we go. I got my gold. Lovely. Right. That means the stuff is gone. Uh, I, in which case, I'm going to take a nap for four hours. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe not. Maybe I actually should water my crop. There we go. Lovely. Now, let's uh, take a nap for four hours. And then we'll be able to go to the shop. We'll be able to buy an axe. And we'll be able to cut stuff down and kill things. Innocent family fun. It really is. Right. There we go. Okay. So let's go and pick up an axe. Now, it should be open by now. It's 12 o'clock. Yes, it is. Good. Hello, blacksmith. Now, I want to buy uh, an axe. Okay. I want to buy a pickaxe. And how much do I have left? I'll pick up a sword as well. Thank you very much. That is wonderful. And also, in addition, uh, what's his name should be awake now. So let's go and talk to him. Uh, where is he? Just go through here. There we are. Uh, but yeah, he should be able to build up a little something for us. Hello there, Hugo. Hi, Pico Jam. How can I help you today? What? That's the plan of a scene maker, isn't it? Yes. Uh, this brings back memories. Professor Jeddah asked me to help build it a long time ago. Look at the design of my pipes over there. I did them. Uh, can you make it? Professor Jeddah would be able to make it in an instant. Uh, I see he hasn't come home yet, has he? No. All right, then. Leave it to me. I need some materials to make it. We can use the iron barrels outside my house to create iron plates, but I'll still need wooden panels and stone blocks. Apart from that, I'll need 100 G. 100 G! Oh, God. Okay, so I need two more stone blocks. Okay, right. Not now. Okay. So. The iron... Okay. So, let's just uh, get rid of some of this. Get rid of the sticks. Which have apparently already become kind of superfluous. Uh, there we go. Right, so the pickaxes, I'm guessing, on those. Or the axes. Come on. No? Okay. Oh, there we go. Use the sword. Of course you use the sword. Why wouldn't you? Uh, but yeah, we do need a pickaxe. Why can't I just pickaxe this stuff? Oh, dear. Right. We'll have to go back to the farm to get the extra stone that we need. However, on the upside, once we have the scene maker, it'll go very smoothly from there. So, let's, uh, yeah. Why can't I use it? Oh, there we go. The good news is it does only take one hit to actually uh, get this stuff out of the way. Now, I'm doing this in a very inefficient way. Technically, I should be doing it strip mining. I should be doing it like this. Um, to, to try and clear out an entire row first. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, the stone. Now we're going to make some decent progress. Come on. There we go. Oh, but my SP is getting low, which means I need to eat a sandwich. Right. And the axe. Come on. Why isn't that... Why is it a pickaxe again? Oh, okay. The pickaxe is way more useful than the regular axe. I got it. I got your deal. I get what you're doing. Okay. There we go. Uh, also, let's just water that again. Okay, we don't need to. Good. Okay. So, next step, go into here. Do some crafting quickly. Uh, we'll make as many of those as we can. Wow, we can make a lot of them. Lovely. Look at that. <laughs> uh, and we can only make one wood block. Tell you what. We haven't tried this out yet. Let's try just chopping down a, a tree. Oh, also, pickaxe. Come on. Okay, I can't use it on that. Okay. And I can't use it on that. So, obviously, later on, I'm going to get different strengths of pickaxe, which are going to allow me to use different things. There we go. Oh, it takes a lot of hits to chop down a tree, and you get three logs. Okay. There we go. Let's just pick up those logs. Another one there. That is a big tree. Okay, I can't hit it. That's fine. 
So, let's go back now. Let's craft uh, the extra wooden planks. And then all we need is 100 gold, which is honestly going to be the problem, given that I just spent a lot of it. Okay. Let's make that. Good. Okay. Make five of that. There we go. Lovely. Lovely. It's going well. Right. Now, just remind me. Oh, no, the box isn't there. Ah, yes. The box isn't there. It'll come back later, won't it? It'll come back quite a bit later. Okay. So, we have a bit of it. We have a bit of what we need. We just need the money, which is the problem. Uh, trying to think of easy ways to get money. I can't think of any so far, because it's only the drone. And there's no box by the house. Ah, oh, we are in a predicament, aren't we? Also, can we... Uh... Oh, yeah. Copper plate, steel plates. That's not bad. That's an easy way to get stuff. Okay, you go. Yes. Uh, hand it over. We don't have the money. Oh, we don't have the steel plates. That's odd. Okay, so I need to find some more of those drums as well. That's... Okay, that's going to be interesting. Pick up that stone. Um, hey, a tomato. A wood panel. Okay. We are going to start uh, breaking everything we can. In fact, we're going to do that starting with the shop. Now, hopefully we can't get in trouble for it. It's an RPG, so I'm guessing we can't. But we should at least look. Okay. Now, here we go. Nothing there. We're just destroying stuff for the sake of it now. Right. Uh, can't set those on fire either. That is a shame. Hello, Trevor. Uh, hello, I recommend the tarts today. Do you now? That's nice of you. Uh, what else? Okay, we got paper scrap. Um, got some wood, got some stone. Got some weeds. Okay. Nothing there. Right, where do we get that last scrap of steel from? And possibly some extra tomatoes. Both of them would be very useful. Let's have a look around. Okay, we got a couple here. Ah, more wood panels. It's good, but it's not quite what we need. Okay. Okay. Uh, a couple of storage things back here. There we go. Another scrap of paper. I'm not quite sure what we're meant to do with those. Oh, we can... Oh, look at that. Look how much they're selling tomatoes for. How much? 500. 500 for a tomato. I can grow one and sell it for like half that. That is ridiculous. Okay. Uh, let's have a look in the blacksmiths. See if there's anything to smash. Smashy, smashy. Nothing going. There we go. We got some wood. Okay. I, I'm still just wondering where we're meant to be getting the steel panels from. Hmm. Hey, another tomato. See, my question is... Why would we why would we grow it when we can just smash this stuff and get them? Honestly, thieving, it's better than farming. Right, there we go. Nothing there. Right. Okay. Uh let's see then. Oh, fresh water. That's nice. A white flower, we can pick that up. Another one. Tell you what, can we go into the outside world? Can we can we go past here? Uh, no, we can't. Which is a shame, because I, I see slimes. I want to fight them. Don't just block me in. Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Right. Oh, wait a minute. There's, there's some. Right, so those are the last ones which I'll need. Okay. So now, all I need is the money. That is it. Good. Good, good, good. So let's go back home. See if the box is there. If it is... Then that's wonderful. If not, no problem. Okay. So, the box, uh, it transpires, is not there. Our tomato's doing well. Uh, can I just pickaxe that? There we go. I, I feel like I should probably clear this out a little bit more as I can. Because here's the thing. I've got the space, and it's going to be useful just to pick up all the little items and quite frankly 
the pickaxe was only 50 gold. And I can get that surprisingly easily. I will say the market in this game works very well. Uh, it's, nothing's too expensive or too cheap. It just feels right. There we go. Okay. Right, let's go to bed then. And then tomorrow, we're going to be selling some shit. So, uh, let's rest and save. Yep, yep, yep. We're going to bed. Lovely. Perfect. But yep, yeah, so that means that tomorrow we can put the money in the box. Uh, or rather, get money from the box. And we'll all be good. Uh, also, whilst we're at it, let's make as many of those as we can. And then we can sell them on. Because uh, we've got more than enough. And again, look at that. So many stone blocks. Lovely. Now, we are going to need them for later on. Uh, but there we are. Let's do that. Good. My tomato plant should be ready by tomorrow. And again, it's done the weird slow speed thing. There we go. And it's not helped by eating a sandwich. Uh, right, so let's put you in there. Okay, that's 15. That's 215. Okay, what, what else is worth a lot? Um, an apple core. Yeah, might as well do that. Paper scrap, we'll sell that. Common weed. Okay, we sold a grass. Sticks. Lots of sticks. Quite frankly, I don't have a use for them. They're so common. Um, let's see. They're worth 10 each. I can... I can give a lot of those away. So keep my... Keep 10 of each. I think, at the least. And that gives me... Because that's the thing. Five of those is worth one pickaxe. So there we go. That's 830 gold. 830. That is pretty damn good for a game where the economy uh, allows you to buy stuff like uh, pickaxe for 50. That's pretty good. Now, we we can't get a bare pickaxe, can we? Because we can't take those down. It's weird. Also, still walking very slowly. Look at that. Wardling across. Okay. It seems to be a, a thing which gets better once you leave a certain area. Um, but that is a bug which the developers should have a look at. Right, unless it's on purpose. Which would bring up the question, why? Uh, but there we go. I'm just waiting for the drone to take off. So, where is it? Where's the drone? There he is. Hello. What time do you go? Good morning, we have fine weather today. Um, say hi to it when you can. Okay. Whatever, there we go. I mean, we've done our morning business. What we might as well do is just go to bed for four hours. It's like my daily routine. You wake up, then you go to sleep until 11, and then you wake up again. Let's just take a nap. There we go. And when, when we wake up, uh, 830 coins, which is insane for this early in a game, especially in an RPG to get that much. Uh, but there we are. Hello, you. Hello, nice weather today, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Let me give you a flower. Happy, happy day. Oh my, thank you. You're welcome. Right. Now, we're going to build a seed, uh, whatever, uh, thing. The seed thing. And, yeah, we are now pretty well off. Um, that's all good. That's wonderful. Like, I am so pleased with that. Right. Also, I'm going to get as many steel plates as I can because they're worth quite a bit. Right, you go. Uh, I'm going to hand it over. Right, you gathered all the materials. Yes. I'll start with preparations immediately. See you tomorrow morning at the farm. Oh, my God. Okay. Good. Um, I might just rest for the day then because I want to I wanna see that built before I finish off today's video. Right, so let's go home. Uh, and once we've done that... Damn, still no basil. I just want basil. Uh, once we have that, we'll, we'll be able to um, make seeds. In fact, I might do a part two for this. Because this is a very interesting game. Like, it's simple. Hello. Uh, your presence here is a blessing in itself. The mighty god, Dom Gera, would be pleased to see you. Good day. Lovely. 
This is the happiest little town I've ever seen. Right. Okay. So first things first. We Once we get more seeds, we'll be able to plant properly. Um, let's just rest and save. There we go. I mean, given that we've apparently slept for over a thousand hours before, this isn't exactly a stretch, is it? There we go. And there is no new gold. Why should there be? There we go. Lovely. And hopefully, we will now have the seed planter. So yeah, good morning. Okay, I got a sandwich. You are wonderful. Right, here we go. Hi, Pico Jam. It's a fine day. It is the seed maker you asked for. Now you can make seeds out of the vegetables you grow. Uh, I only had one battery, so that will limit your use to, of it to once a day. We can add on more batteries later to upgrade it. Very good. Uh, so till then, you have to make do with one. I'd better head back now. Uh, if you find any other plans, bring them to me. I will see what I can do. There we go. Lovely. Fantastic. So... First of all, we can pick up this. There we go. Let's get that tomato. Oh, also, before we forget. Uh, all of those, all of those, all of that. Gonna keep the soil. Get rid of those. There we go. That's another, that's another large amount of money. Uh, there we go. Good. So now, if we get our seed maker, we can make tomato seeds. We need three tomatoes. To make 10 seeds. Which means we'll have to go back into the village. And just hunt for them. Uh, as you do. As you do just hunt for tomatoes. Lovely. Okay. Got some wooden panels. Okay. We got some logs. Uh, tomato. Come on. Okay. Got fertilized soil. I, I kind of like that you can just get them randomly. Like you can just pick them up wherever. Uh, I do really appreciate that, just in general. There we go. And it is very easy to pick up some parts which otherwise might be a bit of a pain, such as the... Oh, we've got mint and basil! Oh my god, lovely! <laughs> mint! Isn't that good? And we should hopefully be able to make some mint seeds as well, who knows? There we go. I, I am way too happy at the idea of being able to grow herbs. Right, there we go. Nothing there. Hmm couple of things there. Lovely. Uh, we'll pick up another bottle of water. It's good that we can get that daily. What else can we pick up, though? What else? Nothing in there. Um, let's see. Oh, wait. There's a herb garden. Ah, shit. Yes. Should definitely be able to make some, uh, some stuff with that. Oh, wow. This is way bigger than I thought it would be. Um, okay. Ah, there's an apple. Okay, it's not quite what I wanted, but it's better than nothing. Let's see what else we've got then. Okay, I... Uh, I'm not seeing another tomato. Come on. Help me out, lads. Okay, some wood. Uh, there's Will. <laughs> I'm just breaking in, stealing his stuff. Because that's what RPGs were made for. Right. Come on. Give me something good. We've got some apples. We could probably plant an apple tree. Uh, the drone will arrive at the farm soon. Lovely. Come on. Apples. Tomatoes. Not copper plates. Okay. Let's see. Back room. Uh, we got some more mint. Okay. I don't know if the herbs are worth that much. We'll probably see in a bit. Uh, in fact, let's go back. Okay. Let's see how much the mint is actually worth. So, we got the weeds. We'll get rid of those. Oh, those are worth quite a bit. Okay. Let's just add one of you. Uh, add you. Keep those. Get rid of those, I think. There we go. Okay. And we can get the water every day. So, that's fine. And we'll get another 700 gold from that. We can only make tomato seeds, which is a bit of a shame. I was hoping that we'd be able to make others. Um, but unfortunately, that means we'll have to go... We'll have the money, fortunately, because look at that. That's going to be another 700. Um, we'll have the money to buy two more tomatoes in four hours. So let's take a nap. There we go. 
I don't know, I feel like it's, it's good. It's good, it's going well. It, it takes a while. Like, I've been at this for almost an hour now. Uh, but, but, you know, it is, it's slow progress. But with these sorts of games, it always is. And it's one of the, one of the flaws in the genre as a whole. Uh, right. Yep. Fine, I'll buy you tomatoes. I'll buy you damn tomatoes. Oh, that's a discount hoe. That's not bad. Okay. Lovely. Right, so what we can do now, uh, we have now got... Oh, God, you, you're doing it again. There we go. Now you're walking at the normal speed. That is a very weird glitch. Uh, but what we can do now is we can go here, get tomato seeds, make two of them. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, I've not got any more battery. Oh, no. What I can do, though, I've got ten seeds. Ten tomato seeds. So, if we start from here. There we go. In fact, can I just... I can walk across them. It's not like Minecraft. Uh, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right, and let's just pop the seeds down. There we go. Love the little animations. Like, very charming. Simple. Don't get me wrong. Very simple, but very nice. Right, and then let's just pour the water on. One. Come on. Lovely. And in three days, I will have so many tomatoes and I only need three of them to make ten seeds so this this farm is gonna be tomato city it is gonna be full of tomatoes right there we go the music kind of okay so it's a weird thing the visuals remind me of earthbound the music sat reminds me of final fantasy it's an odd mix and I kind of love it uh, and the gameplay of course kind of stardew valley-ish especially with like the relationships you build up with the village but there we go Lovely, now we've got a proper farm started. And you know what, I might do a second video on this to see what the RPG elements are like in a bit. Uh, I'm presuming it'll be a long time before I can go there. Because I don't think I even have a, a proper mission right now. In fact, I don't. Um, you gonna give me a mission? You might want to carry some extra weapons or items in your bag just in case. Wait, is that telling me I can actually go out now? Can I go out and adventure? I hope so. Let's have a look. Now, if if it just pushes me away, I know I won't be able to. Um, but if I can, then then who knows? Maybe I'll do a part two of this. Because this game has grabbed me. I am gripped. And I don't exactly know why. Okay, I can't move past it. Weird. Can I do anything to the orb? Okay, I can't do anything to it. Right, well then, there we go. We've got our farm sorted. It took a long time. It took an hour to be to be at the stage where we can just plant whatever we want uh, within reason. But that is fair enough, you know. But there we go. I'm going to end it there for today, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. I actually really like this game. It surprised me. I mean, I knew by the visuals it would be a fun and cute game, but it's actually much better than I thought it would be. I've never been a fan of, like, these tools at the bottom uh, losing their duration over time. I've never been a fan of that. But it's okay. They're so cheap when you consider the amount of money you make. It doesn't really matter at all. Uh, I am interested to see the evolution of that system and how it can evolve and develop those items to take on stronger stuff. Uh, but, yeah, it is just a joy. It really is. So, there we go, everybody. I'm going to get there for today. This has been Picontia. Picontia? I can't even say it. Uh, but it is a great time. Developed by Skipmore and Kankikuchi. And there we go. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And if you didn't enjoy this video, well, there is always a button for you as well. So don't forget about it. In any case, I've been Toggle Jam. This has been Picontia. And I shall see you next time.